uh, this are Minecraft, which uh, no speedo uh, operation. Um, I've been down around looking at the uh, 12 volt supply going to the sensor, and the 12 volt is there, but there's no waveform coming out of the sensor itself down on the gearbox. Um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take out that sensor and have a look at it. Um, it's a mechanical sensor connected to a, an electronic sensor. Um, you'll see a drive shaft on the end of the speedo sensor. I'm going to take this out. Now the area that I'm going to be looking at is down here. It'd be down the back of the um, gearbox in this location here underneath that uh, air duct and it's very hard to get I won't be able to take any video footage of it but you might be able to see me um, I'll, I'll see can I get it out now I could not get a good decent shot of me uh, removing the sensor and the process of me moving the sensor. What I did, I took these still shots of the sensor. And as you can see, the sensor is bolted in with one 10 millimeter nut. Uh, you can see it there with the uh, T-pin, a yellow T-pin going into the connector. That connector has to be removed as well. Uh, what I did was I first uh, undone that ten millimeter nut or that ten millimeter bolt first, and then I got my hand on the uh, sensor and I turned it, and at the same time I pulled it up, turning it and pulling, and that allowed it to slip out of the gearbox. Then. I was able to get that connector off the uh, sensor. Here is a closer shot of the sensor. Uh, it shows a little bit more clearly the uh, uh, the connector and the bolt. You could use a ratchet on that, or uh, I had a, a ten millimeter spanner. This is the sensor that I've taken out and there should be a, a gear at the bottom of this and um, it's broken off. I had to retrieve it out with a uh, pointy nose pliers. This is what a good sensor should look like. It would have this gear at the end of it. It's a simple matter now of just putting this back in the car. Once again, I couldn't get a decent shot of the procedure for replacing this uh, sensor um, with all these hoses and uh, cables and the air ducting for the air filter in the way. Uh, what I did was I just uh, put the sensor in uh, to its hole in the gearbox, I shoved it down and you can feel the teeth of the sensor meshing with the teeth inside the gearbox and I'd slowly push it down turning the sensor until it's fully down against the gearbox then I put in the 10 millimeter bolt tightening it up then I slip on the uh, connector it's important that you don't force the sensor into the gearbox if it hasn't meshed correctly and you force it in, it will break that gear again. Um, that is not what happened, it was just, uh, it happens, these uh, types of uh, speedo sensors. I'm inside the car now. The front wheel is uh, off the ground and the handbrake is firmly on. I'm just going to start the car up now and uh, put it in the gear. 
the one wheel off the ground should turn and, and allow the speedometer to work. And as you can see, the speedometer is working there. I don't want to go any faster than that. Not a hard uh, repair. Uh, the only problem is is getting in and getting the room to move the spanner and to pull out the connector from the gearbox. Um, it can be quite difficult to get get in there, and then to get the electrical connector off that sensor. I hope that's of some help to someone out there. Um, thanks for watching.